Christmas Addicts is one of many. The task force is asking the board to close three schools from a list of seven they want to put on the chopping block. Tough choices will need to be made soon to deal with low enrollment. Arlington High School is on the list of schools that could be closing soon. It's a numbers issue. Their current enrollment is nearly 2,200 students, but it's projected to be about a third of that, 690, next year. I graduated here in 1981. Alum and area resident Teresa Coleman understands the numbers issue, but is saddened by it. The enrollment is down, you know, and I don't know a way to help recruitment. It's just kind of a wait and see thing. It's all about the money. Also waiting and seeing is Broad Ripple senior Jonathan Danford. He just learned his school is also in jeopardy. Just losing that building would be like, it's like losing an entire section of your life. The, uh, the high school is part, integral part of the community. Uh, it's been here for, you know, it's, it's part of Broad Ripple and you're going to be taking part of Broad Ripple out and you're going to leave a building that's empty. So that's going to be a big concern. The three closed schools would come from a list of seven, those being Arlington and Broad Ripple, as well as Arsenal Tech, Crispus Attucks, George Washington, Short Ridge, and Northwest. The closings would be effective in the fall of 2018. The internal task force report shows that closing the high schools would save $4 million, which they say could better be spent on student services. IPS officials will hold several forums to gather community input before the school board makes a final decision, possibly in September. So you heard a couple of times in there about this task force. Who are they? IPS officials say that task force is made up of 16 people, some of whom work in IPS, some who work out of IPS, all of whom have extensive facilities management experience, according to IPS officials. And by the way, the first public meeting on this issue will be April 26th at Glendale Library at 6 o'clock. We've got those dates and times for you on the IndyChannel.com. For now, we're live downtown. Chance Walser, RTV6.